Hi, I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about wow factor fragrances. So these are addictive. They're alluring. They're unique. They're long lasting. They're just beautifully composed fragrances and they blow my socks off. So I've got seven to share with you. I can't wait. I think you're going to love them. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It'd be amazing to have you part of the community. Before I actually get started, I just want to thank you guys for being so supportive and positive. I uh, feel very, very honestly blessed to have such an amazing community of people. The way that you guys have responded to my special guests, I want it to be a positive experience when people come on the channel because uh, it's a little bit nerve wracking, but it's fun at the same time. And so thank you to all of you for your kindness. Uh, and just the way that you've supported each person that's been on the channel. It's a really wonderful, wonderful little boost. So thank you. Like, I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad that you're enjoying uh, the, the content as well. Because I just think it's really fun to have guests on. So thank you so much. And let's get into it. I decided to start with two kind of uh, unicorns. They're very, very difficult to come by. Uh, but I wanted to share them because I don't usually talk about them because you can't get them. But at the same time, these are just such beautiful fragrances. And probably my very first absolute wow was very early on in my collection. And it was Alien Essence Absolute. So this one you can no longer find. That said, Val has a dupe from Dua. Um, and when we sprayed them side by side... Um, it was uh, not quite as rich and not quite as sweet to begin with, but the dry down was almost identical. Like you couldn't tell them apart. And honestly, the Dua one was lasting longer than Alien Essence Absolute. So, um, uh, you know, if you're interested in this DNA, the Dua dupe is actually really pretty decent. So I'll have everything linked down below. This is the most amazing kind of incense-y alien version. So it's got myrrh in here. There's vanilla. Like, look at the darkness of the juice. Like, even the color of that liquid is just so amazing. Uh, the fragrance, you're getting that alien DNA, but you're getting it amped up. At, like, the sexy factor is amped up. There's a bit, bit of a medicinal vibe from this, from that myrrh, I think. Honestly, I prefer this version over the actual alien, but this is like sexy times 10. <laughs> so this is way sexier than alien, to be honest. It is so, so gorgeous but you've got to like that resinous, incense-y, jasmine uh, combo to really enjoy this. So I can see it being off-putting maybe for some, some, but for those of you that like that sweeter incense balsamic vibe uh, paired with the vanilla and the jasmine, seriously, this is the most sexy thing. Honestly, I would consider this to be the most sexy perfume I have ever smelled. <laughs> Like, it's almost way too sexy. Like, seriously, it's phenomenal. If you smelt it and like it, you know. Uh, if you want to smell it, the closest dupe that I've smelt so far is definitely the Duet. Now, I hear Juliana Perfumes uh, has a dupe of it too. Don't have any idea on what that compares to. Juliana's perfumes are really, really decent uh, quality perfumes too. So I'll leave both of them actually linked down below for you. But seriously, this is a wow factor fragrance. It smells rich, decadent, classy, uh, sophisticated, but like you're this temptress uh, that will devour her prey. <laughs> like seriously, wow, wow. On a totally lighter, more flirty wow is the original La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So this one has been around for quite a while. I prefer this over Le Parfum. I've smelt both. Uh, this one to me has my heart. It's a juicy, rich, decadent, kind of spiced pear. Um, it's fruity, it's flirty, it's sexy, but very, very sweet and luscious to me. This is a pretty fragrance. When I want to feel pretty, I put it on. I never not feel pretty when I put this fragrance on. It's a bit of a compliment getter as well. So I absolutely love this fragrance. I just imagine a beautiful kind of poopy, 
poopy. <laughs> Nothing like those beautiful poopy dresses. A beautiful poofy dress. Like I just, I, I just, I, I love this fragrance. It's, it's like a princess fragrance. So the other one, temptress. This is princess. Wow. You can't have a bad day with this fragrance on. Plus the bottle is a wow. Like look at it, like the necklace, the, the shape, like the little bum. Like I love this little bum. Like the bum makes me happy. I, uh, yeah, I just, I love everything about this fragrance. I, it's my favorite Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance by far. It's the one that gets me the most compliments. And uh, yeah, you can't help but feel pretty in this fragrance. Another unicorn that's an absolute kind of masterpiece in my opinion, it's a total wow fragrance, is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Now I know that there's a, a Noir Extreme. It doesn't doesn't do the same thing to me. Uh, the Noir Extreme is a lot more masculine in my opinion, so I definitely prefer the Poor Femme. This one is in kind of that same category as an Alien Essence Absolute. It smells decadent and rich. There's a, an, I think it's an Indian dessert called Kulfi in here. The florals that stand out in this fragrance is definitely the rose with some jasmine. Somehow it smells like a decadent, rich balsamic cheesecake. There's ginger, there's orange in here. It comes across a little bit spicy, so sexy, very smooth, seductive, intoxicating, alluring, very, very sexy fragrance. This one I haven't seen duplicated. If you know if there's a dupe that's decent of this one, uh, let us know. I don't know how hard it is to find. I think it's pretty hard to find. If I have it, if I can find it, it will be linked. But this is such a beautiful fragrance. It's elegant. It's intoxicating. I think of wearing like a black or a red velvet full length gown with the gloves and you're in a limousine and then you pull up to a mansion and you go in for this party and there's a little symphonic trio playing and people are mingling and you just smell like the richest, luscious queen you could ever imagine. Like you are about the money in this fragrance. The money and a little bit about the sex because this one, seriously, it is super duper sexy. So love, love, love this fragrance. Wish it was still available. I think it's so sad it was discontinued. Now, another fragrance that is rather new to my collection, but seriously, it completely wowed me. And it was like wowed and surprised me. And that was Love at First Sight by Unui Nomad. This is a fragrance that I love just pulling out and sniffing. It's so weird because it feels like it's one of those fragrances that kind of makes me a little bit teary, honestly. Like when I smell it, it smells like beautiful spring air. So I think of the lilacs and I'm not a huge fan of lilac. So I was a little nervous about this one, but with the, it has lilac, it's got passion fruit in it. Whatever the combination of this is, it's just so beautiful. The lilac isn't too powdery, isn't too overpowering, because sometimes those purple flowers can get a little bit sickly sweet. What it smells like is that you're smelling, uh, you're walking down a street and you can smell the lilac kind of on the humid air. Uh, that's, that's the feel that you get in this fragrance. And then with that, just that beautiful hint of, uh, passion fruit, just beautifully balanced, lovely, feminine, gorgeous fragrance. I think it's feminine. My dad smelt it and thought it was unisex. So like everybody's different. It is considered unisex. To me, it's feminine leaning for sure, but it's so, I just think it's uber feminine it's so soft. Like when I smell this fragrance, I think of wearing like a, a really just a flowy kind of everyday dress, but kind of almost to, uh, almost to the ankle, but like soft, flowy, uh, like a think purple or like a white floral with some purple print on it. Something from a different era, straw hat, uh, walking and just uh, enjoying the beauty of nature. That's the vibe that I get from this fragrance. It's so, so lovely. It was a shock for me. Uh, longevity on this one is phenomenal. It's definitely not sexy. I wouldn't consider this flirty either. I just consider it absolutely beautiful. So if you want to feel serene and peaceful 
and uh, just a quiet beauty, that's this fragrance. Really, really, really stunning. Nothing like it in my collection. Like this is the most unique fragrance I think I have as far as being uh, highly floral and yet still wearable. So, so gorgeous, but very, very different. Like you need to sniff it first, I think, because I can see not everybody liking it. That said, everybody that has sniffed it actually really does like it. So I have another sexy one for you. And this to me is just seriously another masterpiece wow fragrance. And that is L'Interdit Rouge by Givenchy. This is warm, spicy, and sexy. Like seriously, so, so gorgeous. So this has some ginger. There's some orange in here. There's pimento leaf. Florals are tuberose and jasmine. And where L'Interdit, like the Eau de Parfum, is primarily tuberose, this, I would say there's definitely more jasmine. I find jasmine uber sexy. This one also has vetiver, there's patchouli, there's some sandalwood. So there's a bit of a creamy woody vibe to this one. It is so gorgeous and very, very alluring. It goes on the skin. It gets a little bit of a root beer vibe, but it's like the sexiest root beer you ever imagined. Like you kind of just want to eat it up. Like seriously, this one is so beautiful. Love the red bottle. Uh, love the juice inside, long lasting, just a gorgeous fragrance, but you have to want to smell like a, a like a, a freaking sex bomb to put this one on because that's exactly what you're going to smell like. So don't wear it to work. <laughs> well, uh. when I think of a gourmand that um, I think is like a wow factor gourmand, it would have to be Lyra by Casmarati. This fragrance smells like a smoky lemon pound cake. It is so extremely delicious. Now, bizarrely, the notes don't represent that at all. This has lavender in it, which doesn't make sense at all. Uh, on the skin, what I get is like a lemon pound cake or a lemon poppy seed cake with just a hint of smokiness in it. There's cinnamon in this, there's some licorice, although I don't get any licorice. I get the cinnamon, there's some vanilla caramel vibe smoky lemon pound cake, but you smell so luscious, so decadent, so delicious. Like it's cozy feeling. Yes, it's gourmand. There's enough going on here that you don't just smell like straight up cupcake, if you know what I mean. So love this scent. I think it's beautifully crafted, lasts a long time on my skin. Uh, just, just couldn't be without this fragrance, honestly. So love the bottle, love the scent inside. I prefer to wear this in the fall and the winter. That said, I think you could honestly wear this year round. Uh, I just feel like it's so cozy though. I like to wear it uh, when the weather starts getting a little cooler. So just so enjoy wearing this fragrance. Whenever I put it on, I feel cozy. I think I smell delicious and decadent, but it makes me feel like I've got just a huge warm hug on. So absolutely beautiful composition. From the Casmarati line of Zerjoff, Lyra Eau de Parfum. And the last absolute wow fragrance, like this one blew my socks off this year and it was Musk Noir Rose for her. Now, apparently they've got another one coming out. What is it called? Something Always, I think. I think it's got Peony in it and a, a few other things like that. So I can't wait to smell that one. Sounded like it would smell a little bit more light, a little bit more like daytime, but this fragrance such a stunningly beautiful, sexy, wearable fragrance. This could be a signature fragrance, but it's a signature fragrance for, uh, you know, someone whose voice is a little bit sexy and, uh, you know, you're quite alluring. Uh, this would be the fragrance you'd want to wear. Honestly, I was listening to someone and they were talking, maybe it was, it was Soaky London actually. And she was talking about how fragrance either uh, makes her feel a certain way or like it kind of solidifies the feeling that she has or she steps into that feeling when she wears a fragrance. So for me, I would be stepping into the mysterious every woman who just has it going on. Like she knows what she wants, she gets it. No one messes it with her. Everyone's a little bit intimidated by her because she just kind of gets it all right. Uh, and she smells like quite sexy and intoxicating and like women want to be her and men want to be with her. Like that's, 
That's this woman for sure. Now, what definitely stands out for me is the plum. It's sexy, it's intoxicating, it's warm. It's not too bright. It's a little bit more of a deeper fruit. So very, very sexy, beautiful. Like this one you could wear all year round, but especially in the fall and the winter, I think this makes a gorgeous fragrance. In the summer, in the spring, I'd wear it more as an evening scent. Whereas uh, fall and winter, you could wear it as a day scent or an evening scent because it's just that sexy. But uh, love, love, love the plum in it. What I get is a plummy rose musky fragrance. So somehow, like sometimes musk smells very, very clean. This one makes it smell soft and alluring and really dang sexy, like seriously. So, so uber sexy. So love this fragrance. It's hyped up for a reason. Like definitely, definitely you need to sniff it because it's such a gorgeous fragrance. And don't just sniff it, put it on your skin, wear it and see what you think. I just think that this is beautiful. I'm not a huge Narciso Rodriguez fan, uh, but this one is so, so beautifully blended, gorgeous creation, love it major wow. And that is it. Those are my seven wow fragrances. Like seriously, they're all so beautiful, all so different, kind of a, a mixture of fun fragrances and sexy fragrances, but all of them are just literally jaw-droppingly stunning. Like such fantastic fragrance from the longevity to the uniqueness to uh, the just the addictive quality of all of them. Phenomenal fragrances. What about you? What are your wow factor fragrances? Leave them down below. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.